Zeus and I are uh, at Hayward Lake. Beautiful morning. Just gorgeous. <laughs> We've come out for a walk. We've had some morning work done and it's still early. Uh, Hayward Lake is fed by Stave Lake, uh, which just up that way there's a dam. I'm going to try to take a walk up this way. I can show you guys. Uh, a while ago, I took a huge pile of uh, drone footage, and I'm not sure where it is, so I have to look through all of my files, but uh, there's some really good stuff showing the sort of the scale of the dam. And sort of the, how, how much water kind of comes through at a particular time and stuff. It's not always the same, obviously. That's what dams are for. But um, beautiful area. This little gazebo place here. Fond memories of this thing <clears throat> because um, when my daughter was pretty young, three or four or something like that, we came here with a buddy and they just started dancing in this thing. And they get up into there and just start dancing and playing. There wasn't any music. Just dancing. Just being kids. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah. This is coming along. Let's see if we can't make it. I can't recall exactly. I think that Patrick takes us through. But it's already getting kind of busy even though it's early. 8.30 or something like that. Summertime's great for these kinds of walks because you get out and about when it's not too hot. It's an angry squirrel over there, probably mad at Zeus. So. Just grab a coffee on the way and this is my morning coffee walk. Try to get a few of these in per week. I don't always have the camera with me. I happen to have it with me. I thought I'd drag you guys along, see what you think. Just another um, <laughs> beautiful place to visit. If you're ever in the lower mainland or something like that, and you wanna check out some neat places, this is another one, Hayward Lake. Where does this go? Should lead to the dam in the end, because this is the way to get there. Yeah, somebody's doing something. So, uh, it's a power producing dam. And uh, they've been doing a bunch of upgrades for a while, fixing things and making things better, obviously. Um, I don't know exactly what. I know it's a pretty old dam, but I actually have no real idea of the history, so. Sometimes I go on these walks just so I can go learn something in my local area that you never really think to kind of do because you live here. <laughs> you think, well, I'll go one way, one day. So here we are, powerhouse at Stave Falls. Take a walk through time at a national historic site of Canada and learn how power is made through interactive games and historic displays. See real turbines and generators up close and learn the history of electricity in BC. Come visit our tour. There you go. There's the, there's the speech. Ah, this bridge here is regularly, I think they recently put up more fencing, but you can see there's sort of a well-worn area down there. Uh, but the fencing is here because there's lots of people that kind of jump out off this bridge into the water. And obviously, it's not one of the safer things to do. Just look at this area, how beautiful it is. Look at no loitering, jumping, or diving from bridge. Hidden water hazards, underwater hazards. Yeah, no kidding. Um, but it is the, I mean, I think what I'm going to do is come out with a, a kayak. Footage before, I think you guys have seen it, although now I'm not sure. So many videos out there, but um, come out this way in the kayak would just be beautiful. I'll see if I can. 
get an early morning one because we can get some sunrise stuff. Wake up with the sun as it is anyways. Um, up that way more. We'd have to go up that way more to get to the dam. You can look off in the distance, you can see a bunch of power lines. Let's take a little further walk. Today's a walking day. Like I said, try to get out for a couple of walks a week for sure. Just different parks. This is Railway Trail. This place is closed Tuesday and Wednesday. Huh. That's today. Anyhow, so, um, you know, getting out in a boat and getting Zeus out and make sure he gets a good walk around in other places. Because when we're at home, he just sleeps most of the time because <laughs> it's hot now in the summertime. But uh, this is what our world looks like big tall cedars and pine trees and stuff water water everywhere i don't know if we want to go much further but that's today's walk i'll see if i can actually when i drive out we'll get a second part to this video i think over near the falls so check that out but for now we're just gonna wander through this foresty pathway and uh, we'll be back. A little bit more of a tour of the area. So we walked a little further along this pathway, probably about five, eight minutes or so. If you look down, let's see if we can find a clearer spot. There's this little boat that's down in the water here. Look at this cliff. Ooh. The MV Shirley. And uh, it's just anchored here. It just sits here all the time. And I'm guessing, guessing it was sort of a, one of those boats that they maybe pushed or pulled some stuff around. I don't know if they would have ferried people around or nothing. But I should probably find that out. Just do a tour. Take a 360 camera. Come on, Zeus. He's doing great. And then off to the right, there's a uh, an example of what high power lines look like. Eh, what the heck, let's take a walk over. You guys are probably just drinking coffee like I am anyways. Might as well freely wander around a little. Thanks to this place being closed, no traffic to worry about. Just a weed whacker. So, this is what our power lines look like up high, which is kind of cool. There's a bunch of information. I'll put this here. If you want to pause the video, you can read that. But uh, these things are massive. I'm actually always very interested in the... Um, this one as well in the uh, structure of these kinds of things and how they're built a lot of triangles you know, high winds and... it's pretty cool humans come up with pretty neat things there was a helicopter So there you go. And then up the way here, well, we'll see what happens. I'll walk a little further and I'll turn back on because this might not be very interesting in this part. Okay, we've walked, we've walked a little further along and you can see the size of this dam. Up there is the road. And of course, down there is the exit of the dam. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. This place is closed up. We can't really do anything further, but one day we will. <laughs> Zeus is such a good boy. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Let's go a little more. 
wonder why they close Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe it's the least popular days. It's not worth keeping employed. A little further. Yeah. Let's go down there and have a bite to eat, maybe. Let's see, what does it cost to go in here? For adults, it's eight dollars. Seniors, it's seven. Kids, seven. Children, under five is free. Oh yeah. So that's what you can expect to see, and there's probably tons of history on the inside. it. We made it to the falls. Still we'll probably drive up to the top there and show you guys the other side. Let's do that. Should we go back Zeus? It's a nice breeze but it is getting warmer. Good breeze. There's nothing like actually being here. I was trying to talk to somebody the other day about um, what it's like to watch videos of horse training obviously, but uh, even something like this where you can smell the air, it's fresh and clean, a little bit of cut grass kind of going on, the 360 degree sound, which um, this camera does have the ability to take and I think I might edit it out like that. So in theory, as you're looking around, you should be able to hear different sounds louder or quieter. And it will feel like it's around you a little bit better. But that fourth sense or the fourth dimension, there's, or no, yeah, so there's 2D, 3D, and 4D. 4D is smell or motion. And 5D, I don't know. Movie people, eh? All right, back down the railway trail, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys. When I head back up with the drive up, I think. All right, we're on the other side now. And uh, to give you an idea of the scale, um, looks like there's a leak. How about that? But, uh, Obviously these pipes used to feed the dam, they changed that and they create a little walkway and you can actually go and probably go in there. So we'll probably do that one day just because it would be fun. Maybe this week. But uh, to get a grasp of just how, I mean you gotta, you gotta kind of be here to see it. So highly recommend it on the list of things to do. Let's cross the road. You guys can see the other side. Stave Lake, right? So there you go. Beautiful country. It's not that far. Uh, probably took about maybe a 20 minute drive. This is so much lower at other times. It's the highest I think I've seen it. Take a short, short walk around this edge. You guys can see a little bit more. There's the power plant there. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it around. That looks like it'll take a while. And it's fenced off, so that's not gonna work. Wow. Okay, it's starting to get warm. I'm gonna end this here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed a little bit of a tour of the dam. Put you out over top of the water. Here are the birds. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that looks like. I haven't actually done a lot of 360 stuff yet. Um, even though I own the thing and I'm doing another stuff, I want to experiment with some ideas. So I'm looking forward to see what that looks like. Anyways, before this truck shows up, let's end it there. See you guys again tomorrow, hopefully.